All right, so uh, first year coaching quarterbacks got a Heisman winner. Was it hard to recruit uh, Malik Cunningham to come play? I mean, it, it, it wasn't necessarily hard just because Malik, you know, he committed last year at the spring game. So yeah. he was committed for a long time. You know, he really liked it up here. I mean, it definitely helped with Lamar win the Heisman because Malik kind of kind of idolizes Lamar. So it was good when Malik got up here on campus and get those two together. So they, had, they had a good time to do that. Well, how, you know, the, the two quarterbacks that you've that the staff has recruited most recently with Lamar and Jawan Pass, how is Malik different from them? And and uh, when you all recruit a player, are you all recruiting, like, a specific type, or are you just looking for talent? Yeah, you do. I mean, we're, I mean, it's kind of, it's a little bit of both. We, we want a specific type of quarterback, and then, you know, also their talent, you know, is a big part of it. But the way they throw the ball, their, their intelligence, you know, that play a big factor into it. Um, you know, with Malik, you know, comparing him to Lamar and Juwan, you know, I mean, there's a lot of similarities there. You know, they're, you, they're what you would call dual threat quarterbacks nowadays, so he has the ability to run. You know, but Malik also has a really good release. He can throw the ball. You know, he ran an offense in high school. A lot of they did a lot of run pass options, so we had to learn how to get the ball out of his hand fast. So that's going to be you know something that's really going to help him out. What do you think he needs to work on, and in, in terms of like, you know, when he gets on campus to be able to you know crack the two or three D? Yeah, I mean the biggest things most kids coming out of high school nowadays need to work on is really taking drops from under center, snaps from under center, calling plays in the huddle, you know, really learning the footwork that we use. You know, the, that's a big part of it, the footwork and ball handling. So, I mean, it's a it's a process. And he's a really good player. You know, a lot of these high schools, you know, they don't really teach a lot of, um, you know, footwork and those type of you know, attributes. So it's, it's something that when they get here, you know, it's a big part of the teaching process. But the good thing is they get to go out in the summer by themselves with the other quarterbacks, and they really help them out. So, you know, it's, you know, I think our summer program really helps them when they get here. Your room's getting kind of cr crowded. You just added another bowling. Yep. And then, you know, people want to know about uh, Clay and, and also how Jawan Pass is looking. Yeah, I mean, uh, Juwan's doing really good. You know, yeah. He's, uh, you could see his improvement throughout the year last year. You know, usually on Sunday nights, we took the, you know, people who are red shirt and didn't play a lot, we really practice them. And then during bowl practice, it was really good. You could really see his improvement. So, you know, there were certain things Juwan really had to work on last year, and you could see that throughout the year. So, I mean, it'll, it'll be good to get him out there this spring and see how much more he's going to improve. But he, I mean, he's got a lot of potential. Appreciate it.